Hi guys! Today we're going to learn the lowercase letter E. You'll notice before I start I have my whiteboard and a marker and eraser. If you don't have a whiteboard at least have a blank piece of paper like this one and something to write with. In addition I have blank cursive paper and a pen nearby for when I'm ready to write on line paper. So you know quite a few letters now. Let's just review. I, T, U, and W. These are all undercurve letters because they start with an undercurve stroke. And unlike going from A to Z in the regular alphabet, you're going to learn the letters based on the stroke they start with. And there are a lot of undercurve letters. So let's talk about the letter E. Here's letter E. Mrs. D is going to practice it really big at first, just so you can practice shape. And this is why it's important for you to have a blank piece of paper. So in the beginning, let's just focus on shape before we worry about the size, the slant, or the spacing. Here's an E. It starts with an undercurve. Undercurve, loop back, undercurve. That is your lowercase e. Undercurve, loop back undercurve, undercurve, loop back, undercurve, undercurve, loop back, undercurve, undercurve, loop back, undercurve. Remember, boys and girls, everyone can learn, just not in the same way and not on the same day. So it's really important to practice your cursive in different ways. One of the best ways is to practice with your finger in the air. Practice the shape. Undercurve, loop back, undercurve. Undercurve, loop back, undercurve. Another helpful trick is to use the tip of your finger on the table or a desk or wherever you're practicing your cursive. Undercurve, loop back, undercurve. Undercurve, loop back, undercurve. And then saying those words out loud will also help your brain remember the shape. Undercurve, loop back, undercurve. This is your lowercase letter E. Let's talk about joining E to the other letters you know so far. Here's EW. Undercurve, loop back, Undercurve up once, up twice, up three times, give it a hook, that's EW. I'm not going to tell you the next two letters. Let's see instead if you can read them. Which two letters are those joined together? If you said IE, you're right. You should practice all of these joinings yourself. Here's EU. Undercurve, loop back. This last part of the E becomes the first part of the U. Undercurve up once, up twice, up three times. EU. Let's try ET. Undercurve, loop back. Undercurve, pull back. Undercurve, give it a cross. ET. Here's EI, undercurve, loop back, undercurve. There's a few joinings of the letters that you know so far. Let me show you some words. You can write a really long word today. This is super exciting. Writing long words will really help you practice your joinings and your slant and your spacing. Lots of birds say this at this time of year. Let's see if, as I write it, you can read the cursive. If you read the word tweet, you're getting really good at reading cursive. Boys and girls, I want you to pay attention when you write a long word like this. Pay attention to your slant 
and your spacing. I'm gonna show you the W-E again. That's tricky. Any letter that connects to a hook letter like the W is a little tricky and requires practice. So let me just review W-E with you uh, just so you feel confident about that. Up once, up twice, up three times. Now the hook is become, going to become the first part of my E, but watch. Give it a hook. That's your undercurve. Loop back. Undercurve. That's your W-E. Mrs. D would like you to practice that connection a lot of times, which is why it's really helpful to you to, for you to have blank paper or blank line paper. Let me show you that again. Up once up twice, up three times, give it a hook, loop back, under curve. Up once, up twice, up three times, give it a hook, loop it back, under curve. So there's our practice on a whiteboard. I think we're ready for blank line paper, which will help us with size. When you're writing on line paper, it's time to pay attention to the four keys to legibility. Size of your letters, which the lines help you with. Shape of your letters. Spacing between letters and words. And of course, your slant. Cursive handwriting is always slanted. Remember, tilt it this way if you're a righty to help with your slant, this way if you're a lefty. So here's our W, our E, I mean, not W, we just did, just did W. Undercurve, loop back, undercurve. Undercurve, loop back, undercurve. Undercurve, loop back, undercurve. Undercurve, loop back, undercurve. There's a whole row of E's. When you are practicing on your own, on your E sheet, I'd like you to circle the best work you did on each line. Hmm, I think this is my best E. There's your lowercase letter E. Let's write some words that have an E in them and that are a combination of all the letters you know so far. I'm not going to tell you what word I'm writing because now you can practice reading it. Here's the first word. If you read tie, wet, and we, you're right. Let me show you some common eye mistakes. <coughs> Excuse me. Here's the most common eye mistake. E mistake, I'm sorry. Size, shape, spacing, and slant. If you said shape and slant, you're right. It's not slanted and the shape of this loop back is a little bit big. That's a common E mistake as well as this one. This one is a little too skinny, the loop back. Undercurve, loop back, undercurve. You don't want it too big and you don't want it too skinny. That's a common one. This is also a common E mistake. If you said slant, you're right. This is a backward slant. Remember, if you slant your paper, if you're a righty, tilt it to the right. If you're a left, to the left. The slanting of your paper will help you have an automatic slant on your E. Undercurve, loop back, undercurve. And there you have it. You're ready now to practice your E's. Boys and girls, please remember, when you're practicing on your E practice sheet, 
always trace first. That helps your brain remember the shape and you're tracing a perfectly slanted, perfectly written E. And so that will help you too. Trace everything before writing your own and circle your best work on each line. See you tomorrow.